to solve in Sullivan Dermatology. I'm gonna show you my favorite rash. Well, one of my favorite rashes, I have a few. So this gentleman comes in and he tells me he gets these red bumps and they uh, turn dark. And then the other thing he tells me is that they come and go, right? So that it'll be red, it'll get dark, and then it'll get red again. And they're a little itchy. Do they burn? Uh, no, no, just burn. Okay, and you can see he has one uh, here. And if you look, you can see it kind of has a gray, purplish hue. This is something called a fixed drug eruption, all right? And what makes it fixed is if this is the first one he ever had, right? If it's usually to a medication. So you take a medication, you get the eruption, right? 20 years later, if he takes that medicine again, he'll get it in that exact same spot. That's what makes it fixed. The rash always occurs in the exact same spot. Typically it's to a medication and usually it's to a medication that you're not taking all the time. So it's an antibiotic. You take it, you get the spot, but you don't connect the dots because you stop the antibiotic and, and, and uh, the rash goes away. So this is a fixed drug eruption. Uh, it's immunologically immune mediated. So it's your immune system that does it. These are some common causes. Um, pain relievers like ibuprofen, Aleve, Tylenol, uh, things for constipation, um, Viagra, I've seen a lot of Viagra cause it, um, and antibiotics are a common cause. So there are many common causes. And one other characteristic is it takes a long, long time for the brown spot to fade. So you'll get the red spot that, that comes out when you're taking the medicine, but the brown spot then stays for many months afterwards.